Hey y'all, Lil Perian here with another video review. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Diamond Select Toys Excelsior NX2000 and we're going to be comparing it to the um, NCC2000 from Diamond Select Toys that released a couple years ago. Uh, the NX just recently came out a couple months ago. I don't remember exactly when, but it's a relatively new ship. It came out before the A did. Um, usually I don't do variants, but this ship uh, was different enough where I could justify buying it. Um, I didn't even really want the NX at first until I saw some of the videos and pictures and everything that have come out about it and it really made me want to get it. So I just got this recently for my birthday, so I'm going to do a little review of it. So we're going to start off by, like I said, comparing the two. Uh, we're going to start off by the actual sculpted differences between the ships. I mean, it's pretty obvious, uh, some of them here. Uh, the first one is going to be this bridge area is, is different. You can see the bridge itself. It doesn't have any sculpted details on it, whereas the Excelsior bridge does have actual sculpted details on it. Uh, it has one impulse dome versus the two on the Excelsior. The Excelsior also has more details in here. This has more painted on details, but this has more sculpted details on it. Uh, back here, you can see the NX2000 has this versus that on the NCC2000. And then, of course, the nacelles back here on the NX actually have these little wings on the side versus the, the NCC2000 doesn't have those wings on the side of them. Uh, those are the biggest sculpted differences. There aren't really any other ones uh, than those. Um, lights, it is lit differently. You can see the NCC and the NX. Uh, the NCC, obviously the two domes are lit versus the one dome being lit on the NX. Uh, the nacelles on the NCC 2000 light up, whereas the nacelles do not light up on the NX. But this little area on the back lights up. I forget what this is. I, I, I want to say it's the cargo area, but I don't really remember. And then, of course, uh, the deflectors on both of the ships light up. So that's the lighting. And we'll kill the lights so you can kind of see the lighting a bit better here. I like the NX's lighting. I do like it, but I've always been a fan of the lit up, light up nacelles more. So I kind of like the lighting on the NCC 2000 a bit more. And then, of course, on the back, we have the uh, impulse engines light up. Uh, there is light bleed coming out the top, which isn't a really big deal. There's the NCC 2000. And the NX, both impulse engines light up, obviously, on both ships. So that's going to be it for the lighting. Uh, Paint-wise, again, paint-wise, they're, they're pretty similar. The only differences are... On the NX2000 overall, the paint is a slightly darker shade of blue. Uh, and again, in the bridge area, which is a different sculpted piece, the, the paint job is pretty different. You can see that here. The bridge is silver, just flat silver, and then there's a bunch of paint details going on here. Versus the NCC2000. No paint on the bridge. There's really not much paint going on in the bridge module overall. So I kind of like the paint apps on the NX a bit more for the bridge area. And then of course in the back here, the paint is different because they're completely different sculpted pieces. Not much paint detail in this, it's just kind of a, a silver color. And that's pretty much it. Um, from the bottom, they're identical. I said paint-wise, they're pretty identical, but you can kind of see here the shade is just darker on the NX. The blue is darker. Otherwise, the paint apps are um, identical between the two. So I'm going to do a brief pause, get them back on their stands, and then we'll go over the sounds on the NX2000. All right, and we're back, and we're going to take a look at the sounds that the NX2000 comes with.
Stand by a tractor beam. Prepare for warp speed. Stand by a transwarp drive. Execute. And that was it for the sounds. Uh, I'm pretty sure it has all the sounds that they could have possibly put on the NX-2000. Uh, there aren't many, but the, the NX-2000 didn't really have that much screen time in the movie. So, like I said, they put on there everything that they could put on there. Um, so, overall, it's a pretty pretty good ship. I do like the lights. I do like the sounds. I do like the paint job. Uh, there are two issues that my ship has. Uh, one of them seems to be a more widespread issue. The other one I don't think is widespread, but it is an issue that mine has. Uh, I'm going to start off first off the, the NCC 2000. Um, I did do a review on that. There be, should be a link to that, or at least to the playlist in the top right corner on that card thing that's up there. But the NCC 2000 was virtually perfect from what I can remember. I don't really remember many manufacturing issues or whatnot on the NCC 2000. As perfect as a mass-produced port toy could be. Uh, but the NX, like I said, it has had one widespread issue that I've seen. And um, we'll see how well we can get this to focus. But these... The lines on the edge of the saucer, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Okay, well it's not going to focus, but you can kind of see this one is a bit wonky. Uh, this one looks kind of upside down. Seems to be focused before. Alright, so there, you can see that one's kind of upside down. I've seen it worse on other ships. Mine actually is pretty decent, the sensor lines are. But I've seen it a lot worse on other ships. So I'm pretty happy with mine overall there. But it is an issue that I've seen on multiple different versions of the Yanks 2000, uh, that those saucer lines are a bit wonky. Uh, the other issue that my ship has that I haven't really seen too many problems with uh, is this impulse engine. You can kind of see it from the back pretty well. Uh, the one on the right is kind of warped. Again, that doesn't really bother me because how I display the ships, I just slam so you see them from the front. You don't really see them from the back. Uh, but this is warped, and there's a gap. So that's the only other sh issue this ship has. Otherwise, there's no excess glue, there's no excess paint globs or anything. Overall, it's a really well done ship. And the only widespread issue I've seen, like I said, are those lines on the edge of the saucer. So overall, a very good ship. I would recommend it uh, for sure. If you don't have the Excelsior or if you like the NX2000 more, it's definitely a good version of her. Uh, it should be available on all those toy websites like Big Bad Toy Store or Entertainment Earth. It should be in stock, I believe. Uh, very good ship, very happy with it, um, and I would definitely recommend it. So if you do like my videos, please subscribe, and uh, thank you very much for watching.